Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're joining me again. My name is Sasha Reed. Today I've got a fun AliExpress haul. I have done quite a bit of shopping on there again and it has been taking a while for things to come in. Um, I know that I spoke to Alina who has said that shipping has gone up 70% for her. So it's absolutely crazy. She said the reason is is that there are hardly any flights leaving China which means that the flights that do leave are very rare and so companies are having to pay loads of money if they want their products to reach their customers in a decent time. So um, I know for Alina's shop she's struggling because she's paying an absolute fortune to try and get goods to her customers. I don't know if other shops are willing or able to make that kind of choice. So it is taking quite a while to get things and it is not because the virus has put a stop to everything in China, that's all starting to get going again. It's because nothing is leaving or going into China. Um, as per most countries, there's a lot of flights that are grounded. So if you do order from AliExpress, be aware that things are taking extra, extra long um, just because the flights are just not flying at the moment. So please do be patient. Um, if you order from somewhere like Alina, she is doing her best and she is paying out her pocket to get goods to customers. So um, just be aware if you notice price changes on AliExpress, it could be because of that. So let's get started. So first up, I wanted to share these pencil cases I got. These pencil cases were about two and a half, three pounds, like really quite cheap and they are really good quality. I ordered one for my daughter and one for myself. And I have to say I'm in love with the unicorn one. I've ordered another four or five of these as gifts for friends because they are about three quid. Um, and then I got some unicorn pens as well so I could put some unicorn pens in them. They come with these ties. You can order them in several different um, amounts so that de will determine how long it goes. These are all my daughter's gel pens. Um, so they just tuck in, it's all elastic here, um, tucks in down there, um, canvas on the back there. Really, really good quality, excellent stitching, really happy with it. My daughter's been using it every single day. Um, and the fabric is really nice, really soft fabric, really thick, durable. I am dead impressed with these. So I'll put all the links down below for everything that I've purchased. But I, I'm telling you, I couldn't be happier with these. There's lots of sellers on AliExpress that are selling these. I'll link the ones down below that I used um, because I can verify that these these ones are really good quality. So dead happy with all the stitching. It's just really, really brilliant and my daughter loves it. So it just rolls up like this. And then all you have to do is just wrap the ties around and tie it up and it's so quick and easy. Um, I absolutely love it. <laughs> there we go. Now my one is like a canvas on the outside and canvas on the inside. I love the pattern. So I've put some of my Stampin' Up! pens in here. I accidentally ordered two of these but it's actually perfect because I plan to um, use it for all my Stampin' Up! pens and I'll just have this sort of fabric be those kind of pens. Downside, it's quite tight so it fits the gel pens just fine. These Stampin' Up! ones are slightly thicker so if you can see there are three um, but I've had to leave one empty. Every two I've had to leave one empty because they just didn't fit in. But again, excellent stitching, really nice quality fabric, really really secure ties, super happy with this and really cheap so yeah that is my pencil cases next up I went a little crazy on the stickers um, these are from two or three different shops I think um, I just wanted some stickers I could stick on some items that I give people so out of all of these ones my favorite ones are these colored ones um, the other ones are kind of a little bit hit and miss well most of them are, are quite good um, they are quite small, but I don't expect them to be big, so I'm really happy with them. So this one here says thank you um, in a few different fonts, and it says thank you for supporting my small business, which I thought was brilliant. Now the only downside is that the font is kind of a bit all over the place. It's, it's slightly different on each one. So if I show you this one, for example, 
These two are the exact same sticker, but you can see the font is printed slightly wonky on one. So as you can see, the one on the right kind of hangs off the edge. The one on the left just kind of makes it. So this roll in particular is a bit hit and miss because it, you know, it's got a lot of <laughs> sort of wonky printing. But they're very, very sticky stickers. And there's a heck of a lot of them on the roll. So I'm not overly bothered that some of the gold isn't printed on very well because look at how many you get. And they weren't that expensive. So this was my kind of iffy roll, but I do love that it says, thank you for supporting my small business. I like that it has the different fonts. I think it's really pretty. This one here also says, thank you for supporting my small business. And this one here is just the same the whole way along. So there's no change in any of the font. So you can see that one there. Just that one font. Um, and it's all printed exactly the same, so all of them seem to be exactly lined up. Which is quite nice. Next up is this one. And again, it's all the same throughout the whole entire reel. So on this one, it's just got this beautiful floral design that says thank you in the middle. Then we've got these two, which come in a few different prints and four different colors on each. And they're well cute. I really like these. These are my favorite for sure. Again, you get absolutely tons on the roll. Now, last up is this design here, and it's got six different designs on it. So you can see those little animals there. And I will zoom in so you can see them all a bit better. So we got thanks. And then the pattern repeats. So these ones are really cute and they're great for kids gift bags. Again, you get absolutely loads on the roll. They've got the funny rolls where they've kind of like saved money <laughs> and given you half a piece of cardboard on the inside. All of them are like that. So it's uh, obviously the thing that they do. So next, I've been kind of on a vellum kick and I've gone and ordered a load of vellum. I've been trying to search out and find my favorite ever vellum butterflies. I have ordered them again. I've ordered them twice from one company and they've canceled both times because they didn't have any stock of it. So I've ordered from different companies. I'll share those when they come in. But I wanted some more vellum stickers because I'm in love with vellum stickers. I've been using them on everything. So let me share with you what I got. So I ended up ordering two packs of this one here. At first when these started coming in, I got really upset because I was like, oh no, they're vellum sheets which is what I got here. I ordered these thinking they're vellum stickers that you could pull off, but they are all just one big sheet. So you can't peel these and I love the design. I love the pattern. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. Um, like that one repeats twice and the rest I think are all individual. Um, but I don't know what to do with them yet, but they're so stinking cute and I love them. However, they are just one sheet and they are tiny. They're not huge. So I don't know what to do with these. These ones started coming in and I specifically looked for stickers. So I was really upset when they came. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to cut these by hand. But fear not, I do not have to cut them by hand. If you look on the back, you can kind of see the indentation. They are all individual stickers. So you just have to peel them off. So as you can see, they just come right off they are just a sticker. And so I love these because they just blend into whatever background you put them on. So I'm really, really happy. They are smaller than I would like, but they're going to be cute and perfect as an accent on cards or envelopes. I love decorating my envelopes with butterflies. So I've got these butterflies. Each pack comes with six sheets of butterflies. So they are cute. And all the patterns are displayed on the uh, website but you can see them on the back of the card there. So next up is this pack here um, of all the cactuses. Now these were marked as vellum, but they aren't really vellum. As you can see from the reflection of my light, they are very shiny, but they are so super cute. I really like them. Again, they're small stickers um, and they just peel right off. but these are not vellum stickers, they are clear stickers. So they come on a packaging like that. 
and they just stick down and they're shiny. So then some of these you're gonna have seen um, on some videos, hence why some of them are missing. Um, I did a nice little book and used them up. So I, look at the hedgehog, it's so cute, and the cinnamon bun. Um, you got fox hat, coffee, like they are really cute. You get six sheets in each one. They are small, but they are well worth it. I love them. So again, they are vellum stickers, proper vellum, and they just peel off like that, and you just stick them onto your projects. And if you're using white as a background, they just blend right in. They're so cool. I love vellum stickers. I've ordered more as well, so I've got even more coming. But these are the things I reach to the most, or reach for the most, and I put them on envelopes and all kinds of things. Then I've got this one here. Um, again, some of them are missing on some of my pages just because I have been busy crafting away with them already. This one I don't like as much because I kind of thought some of these were a lot bigger. I mean, that's like the size of my nail. <laughs> really tiny. So I'm not going to be able to do a heck of a lot with these little banners, but maybe I'll just stick them on an envelope. It'll look all right. Um, these again are too short to go across a card. Whoops. Pulled that off a bit quick. But they are quite sweet. And they just stick so well. Then I got this set here. Again, some are missing because I have been using them. And these are great for accenting little things. I mean, they're just so gorgeous. Again, I'll put all the links down in the description box for all of these ones that I've purchased. Um, they are excellent quality. I'm really, really, really happy with them. Love the colors. I love a good vellum sticker. Then I got these vellum stickers, which are like those butterflies that I really love. And they're quite soft colors. You can see on the back of the packet what comes in them. So you got like little mountains, um, very pastel-y. Like look at the cute little house, some trees and bushes, different kinds of trees. I just love them. And look at the snowflakes, mountainous scene. So these are all really cute, really sweet. Then lastly, I've got these green ones. Um, we've got these cute little bows in there, noted, a uh, little vintage charmy thing, um, apples, it's kind of all the greens, which is quite fun. And some olive trees and really pretty flower. It's old fashioned apple cider. <laughs> so a bit of brick wall there. So very cute. Then finally, I've had some of these come in. Um, there's a little pack of them here. The reflection's quite bad. Um, but they are the cutest little flowers. I bought these to go in shaker tags. They are like those kind of clay things. You could use them on your nails as like little nail accents if you did nails. Um, I wanted to put them in shaker cards. So I was trying to find packs where I could order them all that were the same color so I could put them on to a shaker card and do like a purple themed shaker card for example. So that's what they look like close up. They are very tiny. You can see the size of my finger. Um, but I really wanted those for shaker cards. So I saw um, Scrap Diva 29 Erica. She hauled some of these and I really wanted them. I love the pastel kind of pale colors. And so I wanted to get some of these. I ordered three different colors, three different bundles. And as you can hear, they have a really good shake. My daughter's already nicked some and got my son to take some as well. So <laughs> there's a few missing. Um, but they're really cute and really pretty and I wanted to use them on some projects, um, albums or tags or like bookmarks or something. Just to have a fun bit of jingle on them. Next up, I got these die sets. They are the capital letters and lowercase letter letters. They came in this cute little flowered floral packaging. Um, but they're just all the letters of the alphabet um, and they're the capital ones in this pack. I just wanted some nice small letters that I could use to put words on cards if I wanted. I was really struggling with finding some that weren't overly small and that weren't overly big. Now I will have to keep these separate because I do want to make sure I keep the capital letters separate from the lowercase letters. 
So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a lovely week ahead and stay in and stay safe. Bye.